you're tired of getting this message and you want to know the best tricks to clean up your iPhone once and for all, this is the video for you. I'm Tech Boogie and I don't want to waste your time, so let's go ahead and jump into this. All right, so first we're going to use the features that are built into your iPhone before going to more extreme measures. So let's pull up the phone. Okay, so off the bat, first thing we want to do is remove out any apps that we're not using anymore. So easiest way to do this, and you probably already know, is to hold on to the app tapping on the screen and keep holding it down until they all jiggle like this. Now you can just hit the minus on anything you wanna get rid of. I don't wanna get rid of Yelp, but I do wanna get rid of Fit Men Cook. I'm not hating, but the recipes were a little lacking. Let's hit delete app and then delete, and then any other app that we wanna get rid of, we can go ahead and uh, remove them by using this method. I'm gonna hit done. Now, the next thing we wanna do is use the iPhone storage management utility. Now to open that up, we wanna to go to settings and general, okay? And iPhone storage, okay? So here's gonna tell you exactly how much space you're using right now and how much free space that you have. As you can see on my phone, which I think is on the case of many people's phones, is that photos take up majority of the phone because these photos and videos are really large these days. And you can also see that apps take up a decent amount of chunk. Now, I've cleaned out a lot of the apps that I don't wanna use, but when you clean out a lot of the apps that you don't wanna use, a lot of times you're gonna find photos taking up the most amount of space. So to start digging into this, first you wanna hit show all under recommendations, great. And these are like the lowest hanging fruit of how to clean your phone. So as you'll see on here, it says I can enable iCloud photos. I personally don't like to store my photos and videos in iCloud because I take a lot of photos and videos. I don't wanna use that data to upload or spend that time. And I don't wanna pay every month for iCloud. So I'd rather clear out my phone and just keep it clean here. So I'm gonna ignore that first one, but review personal videos and review downloaded videos, review large attachments. These are ways you can clear out and delete any large items that are specifically in your photos app or your videos, okay? And all you have to do here is open that up, hit edit, and then you can select any videos that you don't want anymore and hit delete at the top, okay? I'm gonna hit cancel out of here. You can go through and do the same thing for review downloaded videos and also review large attachments. Now, the next thing you wanna look at is all the apps here, it'll show you which apps are using the most data. As I mentioned before, my photos app that has all my photos and videos in it is taking up the most data as we see. But you'll see I have messages here. Now, you could go ahead and delete all the attachments that you have in your messages, but personally, I like to keep mine in there. You can review the large attachments, you can just delete those by themselves if you don't wanna delete the whole messages app data. Now, looking at this, you might have apps that you notice are taking up a lot of space that you didn't know are taking up a lot of space. Now, if you didn't clear out those apps in the first step of this video by deleting them from your home screen, then this gives you another opportunity to see, okay, maybe I don't need this app. For an example, I have Audible here, right? So I'm gonna open that up. Now, looking at this, it gives us two options. It gives us offload app and delete app. Unfortunately, offload app doesn't do much because it just deletes the application and not the data that the that it's taking up on the phone. Uh, so unfortunately, you can just delete the app altogether and that'll delete the app and the data. If you wanna just delete the data, you'll have to open up that application and then delete the audiobooks that are in there, okay? So now that we feel we should be in a place where we've cleaned out all the apps in our phone that we really don't need anymore, but you still are taking up a lot of space with your photos and videos, which is probably you if you're watching this video, we really wanna go into this next step where we're gonna download an additional app to the phone that's gonna help us clean those out. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into that. All right, so we're gonna wanna go to the App Store and the app you wanna download is called Cleaner for iPhone. 
and it has this icon here at the top. I chose this app. There's actually tons of apps in the app store, but I've tested over 20 apps and this is my favorite one. I will have to tell you, disclaimer is that if you wanna get the most out of the app, there's a $10 one-time fee. But in comparison to all the other apps, all the other apps are at least 30 to $50 per year. There is a three-day trial, but it doesn't really let you do much. So if you really wanna use this app, you really do need to pay that one time $10 fee. So uh, let's go ahead and jump in after you downloaded that. So first, when you open this application, you'll see at the very top here, we show how much space that we're using up on our phone. And then right underneath that is really the main section that we wanna be looking at here is the easy clean. Now, this is just its functionality that helps you just clear out the most out of your phone, out of photos and videos in the quickest amount of time. Now, depending on how much storage that you have on your phone, uh, you're gonna have to take time to let this load up. It might take a couple minutes to actually calculate um, all the space that it can clear out for you. So let's that load here. Now, while this is loading, and before we delete any photos and videos off of our phone, I've made another video that you can check out here that basically teaches you how to get the photos and videos off of your phone and back them up to your external hard drive or a computer. Now, if that's something that's interesting to you, make sure you check that video out before you go here and clear out your phone, okay? So it looks like this is finished loading, so let's hit easy clean here. Okay, now we'll notice here there's a couple different sections, right? Under similar photos, you'll notice with its current selection, you can clear out six gigabytes. Now I'm gonna show you what that actually is gonna clear out by clicking that. So this actually uses AI technology under here to detect when you have photos that look similar to each other and it detects what it thinks is the best photo of those groups and then deletes out all the rest of them automatically. Now, you have two options here. You can either hit clean storage here at the bottom and just trust the software and let it clean out your photos. Uh, and honestly, for probably most people, this is the easiest way to go about this, right? But if you're more of a type A person like me, uh, you might wanna go through these and actually spot check to make sure it is selecting photos that you wanna delete, right? So, and I'll show you an example of that. So this first little box up here, December, um, so it's grouped out by dates. Yeah, like I don't really need multiple photos of that. Great, that's a good selection here. Yeah, and this is like I was out to dinner with my little sister at a Mexican steak restaurant. Yeah, I don't need those. Those are good selections here. So I'm gonna keep those selections of what it picked. Now, if I scroll down here, yeah, like these photos was from my family reunion, right? And like each photos of these, I never see these cousins. They all live in different parts of the country. Like I wanna keep all these photos. I don't wanna delete any of these. So I'm gonna deselect all these cause I don't wanna delete any of those, right? Great. So I wanna keep all those photos. Now, you just wanna go through and honestly just spot check this and see if there's anything that's selected that you don't want selected and then hit clean storage at the bottom. Boom, clears out you know, a significant amount of space on your phone. Another area that I think is really important to look at, I take a lot of screenshots in my phone and I don't know about you, but after I take a screenshot, I might have something to do with it real quick. I might send it to somebody or I might like, you know, transfer it to my computer, but then I never look at it again. So considering my screenshots are taking up about six gigabytes right now, this automatically deletes all screenshots from your phone. So keep that in mind. If you wanna go through and you wanna keep some of them, you can start deselecting. Oops. <laughs> you could deselect these images, uh, but you know, if you don't need any of your screenshots anymore, go ahead and uh, keep the selection and just hit clean storage at the bottom. Okay, and the last thing I wanna to point to you guys is the videos. Now we did a little bit of video cleanup um, in our iPhone storage section in our settings on our iPhone, but this allows us to be sorted by date. So you can sort by month 
and then pull that up and see, okay, exactly how much space these videos were taking up each month, which gives us a little bit more granularity. So yeah, I don't need this video. I don't need this video. I don't need this video or this video. I can just hit delete and it's gone. Boom. Delete. And it's gone just like that. Right. And me personally, I would kind of go through these. I would go through each month um, and kind of spot check and see if there's any more videos that I could delete to clear out more space. And if you really want to delete everything from your phone, which I probably wouldn't recommend, but you can. If you hit select all at the top, hit clean storage at the bottom. OK, and great. That's pretty much all it is when it comes to cleaning out your phone. Thanks for watching my video, y'all. My name is JJ, AKA Tech Boogie. And by this point, you should know how to make your iPhone sing like a bird. If you feel obliged, please subscribe to my page. And I can't wait to catch y'all next time. Peace.